That's good advice. One and only potion on game. Come back to your game some more. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Oh, PS Open Beta, and I'm on Ground War. And I'm playing on the map Pop Off Power. I went ham on this map. And I also enjoy the Ground War, in case you didn't know. I did play a good amount of time in Modern Warfare 2019's Ground War, which was a lot of fun for me. Because you can escape as me and them. And also, I feel that depends on the map's structure, there won't be as many sniper fire as in Modern Warfare 2019. But, a con to start it off. I do not like that vibe of the battlefield, you know, once you die, you have this overhead view. And I can pick your spawn point. I'm like, uh, that shit is too slow. To, if they can speed that up, like, I would say two times a bit but faster and also be a bit more responsive to, like, kind of give you a clue, a good clue of, like, someone you can spawn in on, you know, with the, uh, the teammate spawn point. Because I don't know, it doesn't seem to really give me a good idea. At least in my opinion. Of like, who is safe to spawn on and who isn't. Like, I do see that there's like a little red marker or a green marker, but I'm like, give me a little bit more detail, you know. Tell me like, how many enemies are, you know, kind of like, mark the enemies on the map a little bit. But they're using an unsuppressed weapon. That will really set it apart from Modern Warfare 2. 2022's ground war because they don't really give much details at all. So if they can give us that, that would be really dope. The ACS is very powerful in this game mode, especially if you're an OPG player. And also, another thing I like about this, it's not the color scheme is not all washed out. It's like dull colors, brown, more brown, green. You know, just random colors, they just really don't vibe together. As far as I've played this map, it looks clean. It looks like a real good original map. And hopefully the new map that's coming out tomorrow, in the week 2 beta test. <sighs> Man, I can't wait. I can't wait to see what happens. And I can't wait to play High Rise. It's from my scene of Call, Call of Duty Next, that game, that map, I should say, looks incredible. But, how will it play? That we will have to find out. Another con for me is these fucking streets are trash. Like, it's like they nerfed them or something. Like, they don't have the oomph that a fucking streak should have, you know? Like, when I use the A S A E and I, you know, <laughs> point it to the direction where the enemies are and it hits a motherfucker. It'll only be hitting, like, one, maybe two people, but a lot of times the motherfuckers don't even die. And, like, they don't get no cover or nothing. I'm like, what the fuck kind of bullshit is this? So I'm like, I'm not feeling it. Plus, the little selection of streaks that we got aren't impressive at all. I do like that they brought the Juggernaut back, but I don't like that they brought Juggernaut back with a fucking shield. Like, I'm sick of shields being Call of Duty. Hell, FPS is in general, let alone Call of Duty. So it's, oof, that's gonna be annoying. And another thing, why can we ever get specialist back like that was a great feature in Modern Warfare 3 and like isn't this Modern Warfare 3 as well so like why couldn't you give us back that shit like how are you gonna make a Modern Warfare 3 remake or whatever the fuck you wanna call it and not give us back some of those perks some of those ideas into its rendition like, it's, that's it's a common theme that I'm just so sick of at this point with Call of Duty games keep coming out every fucking year 
like you give us these awesome like features but it's like come on now like why do you keep giving us these features but never actually keep them coming like it d makes zero sense they should return you know also another thing and this will be a pro that I feel that this game will be good to pretty good if they keep up their communication with us because with Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 2019 if anyone is so goddamn stubborn it felt like they knew everything even though these motherfuckers never play the game no they hardly even test the game to see what works and what doesn't work. I'm glad that the minimap is back to where it should be and actually, you know, has red dots on the shit. That's a solid feature that should have never been gone. But then again, these holy and all motherfuckers just be like, you know, here's the game, you play it, good. You don't play it, go fuck yourself. It's like, like what? Like, where the fuck is the community manager be at? Like, why don't they never say anything? But now, with Sledgehammer, their communication seems to be solid so far. But we'll see how long that lasts. Because I'm not getting my hopes up. Until I see some, like, consistent progress. And also, a con for me, personally. Why couldn't we get, the? Uh, the pick 10 system like I don't know maybe it didn't work for it for this game in particular since they pretty much just branching off of Modern Warfare 2 2022 but I felt that would have been a good addition to the game but we'll see I think that shit is weird that they put the perks into gear because that can all easily <laughs> And I feel it will be applied to pay to win gear. How exactly? We'll see. But I'll give you an example. Just so you think I'm not pulling shit out my ass. I feel that, you know, they might put like certain types of like shoe or shoes or whatever, boots, whatever you want to call them. They might give it an extra, like, you know. 5% speed boost or whatever goofy shit you know they decide to do and like oh here's the $20 bundle you get a, sp a speed boost and like you know stem shot since they didn't put that shit in there which I'm like why the hell did y'all reintroduce the stem shot because I hate getting shot and I had to wait like 5 seconds around the corner or whatever just to recover so I can re-engage like that shit is stupid. Like, come on now. Like, who the fuck wants to, like, get into a gunfight? Barely survived a gunfight. But had to wait for the health regen. That's what the stem shot is for, right? And, like, since it's 150 health, that's just gonna take a minute. And, like, constantly being hindered like that stifles a faster movement card. Like you added some um, tactical sprint, you added slide canceling and all this shit, but you don't add stem shots. Like what? That's counterproductive. Another thing I would say about this game, and this is a con. Why in the hell don't we have factions? Like just saying spetsnaz or this and that, whatever. That doesn't matter. We need factions as in, you know, identifiable actual groups, like, you know, I would say, like, hmm, for a good example, how shit used to be in World War II, that our gear was different, we can customize our gear, we can choose which different costumes we can have. 
choose different face paints. You know, give us some type of ability to switch things up to where we can easily identify who's an enemy, who's a teammate, by what they're wearing and what the character design is like. It's not right now we just army men jumping around everywhere. Wearing the exact same fucking clothes. Like that makes it very hard to differentiate who's the enemy, who's a teammate. On top of the nonsense of little diamonds that are very unresponsive because a lot of times I can't tell if an enemy is an enemy because the green little diamond is over his head but it's actually a fucking enemy and not a teammate because that shit can go through walls and be looking like oh shit it's there's a teammate right there, okay. Then you just run away and then get popped. It's like, what? Like, did you not play test that shit? Another thing, that's for a con. Why in the hell will I be shooting motherfuckers if we feel like I'm shooting peas? Like, you don't need to buy the weapons or something, because this shit is ridiculous. Like, in BO4, the hit detection was. Damn near spotless. But yeah, you have to put a little extra rounds in them. If you're accurate, you can do it. But in this game, it's just like you can be shooting a motherfucker for like 10 times and get you popped once by a sniper rifle, a shotgun. At medium range, you can just get wasted. I'm like, what? I'm using a fully automatic marksman rifle. That shit should be melting, I guess. But I'm out here. Putting down half a mag and motherfucker, and he ain't dead yet. And a lot of times, they just bounce away and kill me. That goofy ass bitch deserved to die. But I'm just, I don't know, this shit's confusing. It's really confusing. But we'll see. Hopefully, this week's beta test goes a lot better. But, that's all I really got to say. Hope you guys. Got a good understanding what the fuck I'm talking about. And salute to y'all, much love. And as well as if y'all gonna buy this game, be sure you know what you're getting yourself into. If you're not gonna buy the game, <laughs> I salute to you. Because oof, it's gonna be another rough year. Yes, ma'am, nonsense. Microtransactions up the ass. And also who knows what nonsense Activision got cooked up for us as far as you know mm, I would say the last con will be before this video ends don't drip feed us content please I'm so sick of that shit give us the content meant for us to have so that way we're not out here eating, starving getting bored and playing the same shit for a month and then wait for y'all to come back on vacation and then just drift feed us one map two new guns and a whole bunch of fucking bundles fuck off with your bundles we need content consistent content good content original maps as well as where the hell is Modern Warfare 3 maps at since this is supposed to be a Modern Warfare 3 game why haven't I heard about them Anyways, it's the one and only punch that gave me a sign. I'll stay safe, stay smart, stay positive, and fuck away from crowds, and I was putting hurt on the boys. I'm out.